Um, good morning, everyone. Welcome to End the Dream. Welcome to End the Dream. Sorry. House of Prayer, hallelujah. It's actually morning here. It's three o'clock plus. Yes, um, something is, it's, it's the Lord. He allows things to happen. Praise God. Yes, tonight the Lord wants to bring a new beginning again for House of Prayer, a whole new level globally because God is expanding this ministry. It's going to go outside. <laughs> The Global House of Prayer. In between Global House of Prayer. It's going to go outside. Praise the Lord. Let's all worship Yahweh. Yes, I'm no local. Nada de inglés curo, no. Praise God for his new beginning because he is powerful to give everyone who is called to arise in the end time, the children of the Lord. God is giving them a new beginning. Kesamo, thank you, Papa, for your new beginnings. Como geava, Roshan trai trala santrala. Sorry, the wire came out. Roshan and then Roshan trai. Kokyong to Ziali Movia Hateli Come, 
discreto tra i loro come va la nostra troppa Anything that has to do with evangelism is not the vision of Yahweh. I command the demons to leave. Cursing, vexing. This is not part of when the dream. Poi venere si nidiane, croce ci vale barai. This ministry is not 
originated in this world. <laughs> that's the it's the product of heaven. Yes. So anything that has, that is trying to reclaim it. <laughs> be broken it's not from God no one can claim this because it's Yeshua's God because he is might. My God is able to protect this ministry. Mon belle fetre azom chiai. Graci di mel ro sundu vele chiai. As he protected Yeshua, he will protect this ministry. Yes, I am a seer. 
my God has gifted me. My eyes is for the Lord. And I'm a Israel. Oh, I. Oh, I. Come, my only God, bless my eyes to see. I'm closing the door that's not supposed to be open now this is the key of David the anointing yeah my God is also dying. My God is also dying. Yes. That door is going to close now. In Jesus' name. And there is a floodgates of blessing opening for the season. Oh, it's in the lava, he calai, narara, he secra, in the namara, sin no bohu, cara, in no baye, que laras, in no mara, hai, narava, he setero, laras, in mara, he satubai, narai, coro, the nom do diris, alai, in that I, no dois, in that I, oma, hai, levai, in mara, hai, that is not, I command you, devil, to leave now. Sign for in the dream that I did. You're a lying spirit. Your eyes is closed. You are living. There's a new one. <laughs> the way they Yeshua designed it. Oh my. Try love are he oh my I'm closing that door already. The past. Non get pa of end the dream. It's not from Yahweh. Oh, all warfare is already closed. All things is not from Yahweh. It's closed. Can you begin in your 
Medicine House of Pain of MBG Global. a lot of souls globally it's a worship of warfare it's what the lord calls it it breaks it heals whatever the lord wants to do to vaim dai la rai la riskiri rai da rai da rai is trai la bai mara hai ya rai Mai marai derai nararu yu sindai sikara yundo volarai isake heaven ziao na drachi derai kom dio voshin doa no ma urai na bai. No mai vai, lo rai tu lai la vai, na u de rai la vai. No gai zai la rai sundrai ka, o mai jiji sunai lu, o bo e vasi tivi na vagi ke la vare neras, inerere sintro vasi tiva, e se kujunale ridi si tri de zokio. Non vi pele i no on vera ero Nangiri ni na na haio Nangiri ni na na haio Ma miri ni na na haio Desaileru Oh ai la rai Oh la rai la rai Oh ya we Everything that is old, God is taking it out because God is giving a new. Yes, that too. All of it. But all of it. But it's just a bar, okay? Oh my life, no life. 
him die Who my is a call a su cry Yahweh Sounds of sounds, oh my, by new beginning. supposed to be open all of us God is closing it all
that too. <laughs> All of them. The Yamuva, the wells of new beginnings, be open tonight. The way you should design them. Oh, it's a cool life. All of it. Oh, it's a in my Number we like God is saying nations, it's time for you to be blessed. Ah, oh, ah, the David mantle. I receive it, Yahweh, the way you designed it for the end time. The tabernacle of worship that is designed for the end time. Thank you, Yahweh, because this will bring you glory. Come alive. Back to you. I know. Hey. No, then the other side that I lay everything that is safe, all of it. Yes, only some don't in life. identity is going to be released the way this God is signing it to be I'm excited because that's really who I am no one can stop in Jesus name Amen Thanks. of worship in an in and the dream house of David the oil of intimacy will be starting now releasing me from the yoke of the enemies. I'm not 
sing, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay.
dear one, you will not be away. Because they truly care. Co-laborers. They're coming, the Lord is saying. They're coming. My done it. That's what I'm trying to tell you all the time. Sumió en el cielo el vel erinier. Brais en el aire, trovus y un guar. Tonight is a destiny for me. Uh, my destiny. God is aligning me in my destiny because um, that's what I'm dreaming is about. Is helping the people of God in the destiny. And God is fixing my destinies um, to help others as well. Karema, and it's not just that, it's who I am. It's who I am. And I, I accept it with, with love. <laughs> I don't have to, to be um, selfless about that. Because the exact word is that's who I am. I'm going to receive it with blessing, with abundance. The Lord is giving me this promise. It's been for me for how many years? And God is saying, this is your turn to be blessed. In many ways, this is your turn. Own it. Receive it by faith. Because I am a child of God and always by faith. And that's the reality of the kingdom of God. It's faith. Tonight, the Lord is redeeming everything that the devil has tried to steal, kill, destroy. It's beautiful. My future is beautiful. <laughs> It's a, a fresh start, a, a big one. And God is saying, it's not yet. It's not yet time. Um, I'm not going to say it here. It's a prophetic. Um, but the Lord is saying, it's not yet time. You still have your new beginnings to begin. As the Lord has released the Israelites to the promised land. When they went to the promised land, they did have new beginning. They started a life there. They started a life. That's, that's what the Lord is saying to me. My promised land is, is given to me. It's my destination here on earth. <laughs> and by the Spirit. Like the children of the Lord. 
we have a promised land, and that's the kingdom of God, it's heaven. And I'm so happy that he has told me our promised land as a family. Now I know why it was so hard in the beginning. Because it was it's it's meant to be. <laughs> it's meant to be. Now I understand. This time the Lord is saying, you're turning back. Reroute back to a whole new level of new beginnings. This time is my turn, the Lord is saying. This time is my turn. The devil will not be able to devour it anymore. My destiny, our destiny is a family. No more devouring. Because it's time. My destiny is called already. It's, it's his calling, my destiny, our destiny as a family. Yes. Because our family is called for, for the kingdom of God. And the dream was mandated to me as an evangelist, as a revivalist, and all the things that God has called me to do for end the dream. Tonight, the Lord is saying, this is a new beginning, which is a destiny that is meant to be. Now I understand. I'm getting more picture of my destiny. Now I understand. It's what it means. <laughs> That's what it really means, Baba. <laughs> it's really what it means. Because that's who I am. That's my destiny. My family is part of it. They're going to be blessed. As the Bible said, you know, he blesses the family. Yes, now they don't understand fully. But God is saying this blessing is going to rain on them as well. Someday they will. Someday they will. Now they will not fully understand. But Someday they will. <laughs> I'm excited because vindication time is coming for me. It's been years of misunderstanding of who I am as a child. I have gone through a lot as a child. Because, you know, the devil tried me as a young. So I have a lot of stories as a young. I have, and that was actually, God was already there in my life, in the beginning of my life. He was already there, and he never left me. He never left me. He was always there for me, always. He never left me. He was faithful up to the end, up to now, and even up to the end of my life here, he is faithful. He will never leave me nor forsake me. I am happy because this is who I am and I don't have to hide anymore, you know? I did struggle with hiding because I'm different, you know? I know that I'm not like anyone. And now I understand why, because I don't belong in this world. Land of skills with you. I am called for such a time as this. And it's who I really am. And this is my season to release who I am. Yes, that was, that was it. In the ha, the real, I don't have to please anyone because, or I don't have to explain it to anyone because this is who I am. Yes, this is who I am. <laughs> I don't have to explain my, my identity to everyone. No, God knows who I am. He say hi, krovia hi today. That's what the Lord is saying. My identity belongs to me. Does not belong to anyone. I know. People below, no people has the right to steal it or own it. That's what the Lord is saying, because these blessings 
was given to me to bear fruit. These blessings was meant for me. That's what the Lord is saying. I am giving you back everything even more beyond your imagination. The bearing fruit, the bearing fruit, spiritual and physical, everything is coming. It's going to bear fruit. Thank God, because vindication is my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. That's my God. My God is able. My God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who my God is. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He did supernatural things with Abraham and Sarah. He did supernatural things with um, Isaac. Yeah, he is actually a supernatural uh, gift, Isaac. Yes, I mean, he did a supernatural life with Jacob. He encountered Jacob supernaturally. He's the one who go, and this is who I am. He's my God. He's my supernatural God. in the well, in the and the heaven. And God is saying, it's my turn now. This is my turn. And the devil will not be able to steal, kill, destroy all of it. I am taking it all from their hands. They have no right to own it. Everything. All of it, even my family. All of it. My husband, my son, all of it is taking it all back. This time, it's God's turn. Vindication season for me and my family. I just want to thank Yahweh for the things he has done, not leaving us, no matter what we have gone through as a family. It's our turn <laughs> to receive what is meant for us, the blessings. You know, when the Israelites was in Egypt, Egypt was reaping the blessing of the Israelites, their energy, their life, their people. Egypt was stealing from the Israelites. But what did God do? It's my turn now. After 400 years, he heard and he answered the prayer and used Moses to vindicate his people and release them to the promised land. Hallelujah. This is my vindication. It's my turn. My family. In Jesus' name. Just like Jacob. He was, he's gone through a lot, right? But God vindicated him. Jacob loved Rebecca, uh, Rachel, not Rebecca, Rachel. He worked seven years again just to have her. He did because that's how he loved her. He loves her so much that he's willing to work another seven years for her, even if it was not meant to be. For Leah, he was willing to have more years. God is saying, it's my turn. I bless Jacob and I am blessing you. He's blessing me. That's what I'm saying. And my family is how we bless Jacob. Yes, we, we are. No, it's not meant to, to be released here. <laughs> but that's what the Lord is saying. Jacob, arise. It's your turn. Your vindication is here. Remember Joseph. He had years of suffering in Egypt. 
He didn't do anything. Did he do anything to suffer? To, to, to deserve the suffering? No, it's, he just had favor in his life. And everyone was so jealous about his favor. His brothers. <laughs> Actually, their jealousy has led him to his destiny. He was in Egypt as a servant, as a slave. But actually, that was the place of his destiny. And one day, God has called his destiny. That's it. When God called his destiny. That's it. There is no more turning back in his slavery life. This is my turn. It's like Jacob. Uh, Joshua. Ah, so Karen and all of them. It's Joseph. <laughs> His vindication. Joshua did have his vindication too. You know, everyone had the ones in the Bible. Esther had vindication. Everyone in the Bible had vindication. So it's the blessing of Yeshua. He calls it vindication because the devil was trying to steal, kill, destroy. Think about Esther. She was an orphan. And God actually has a destiny for her, her vindication. Because actually she's going to be a queen and God is going to use her for the Israelites. Yeah. This is Anbatrim. That's what the Lord is saying. Anbatrim is a vindication ministry. God's vindication. Yes. God's vindication. Lane of a high, praise and tribe. And God is saying, no one can stop. You know, Mary, when she received a message from angel, Archangel Gabriel, wow, that's the first time I called him Gabriel. Whatever that means. <laughs> because I never called him Gabriel. I actually call him Gabriel. But now I just call him Gabriel. Long of heaven, his destiny. He actually is like a, an archangel of destiny. He was used by God. He's not like the Lord is saying to me now. He's an archangel of destiny because God used him to release the destiny of many from Zechariah in the Bible. I believe there's a lot of destinies that was released through archangel Gabriel. We don't know. You know, some of them is spiritual. Gabriel is an archangel of destiny. God used him for Mary. He sent Archangel Gabriel to help her with her destiny. Yes. He released a prophecy. Zechariah is the same. You are going to bear fruit. And Zechariah doubted because he was old already. <laughs> That's why he became mute until John was born, dedicated. When, until John was dedicated, that was the time when he was able to speak again. Because um, now it's time for him to bless John the Baptist. <laughs> he actually spoke in the spirit of prophecy when he spoke again. Holy Ghost just used his mouthpiece to release the prophecy of John, to bless John the Baptist. With his destiny. That's a gift of prophetic destiny, releases. Prophecies is important, but remember, prophets are aligned with Yeshua. True prophets are led by Holy Ghost. Do not release prophecies when you're not led by Yeshua, because the devil is a liar. He's not going to be able to use your, don't let the devil use your gift. That's the word for the prophets. There's always an alignment. God is an alignment God. He's a true alignment. His kingdom is in order. Yes, you can see it on the earth. All is in order. It's all aligned. That's what you call alignment. And the spirit is the same. There is alignment in the spirit. So don't, don't, let, 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 don't be deceived by the enemy. That you can just do whatever you want as prophets. No. No. The Lord has a timeline 
for every destiny. Like Isaiah, the Lord is showing me Isaiah. Isaiah released prophecies according to the will of Yeshua. When it is time, then he released it. Just the same with prophets now. There are prophets, yes. True prophets. But you have to wait for the timeline. The timing. When God says, now it's time for you to release. Or you can't release it. There's a reason that God gave you that prophecy for a purpose. But if it's not meant to be released, don't release it. Because there is alignment in every prophet. And even alignment in every ministry. There is alignment in every ministry. This ministry, God has given this alignment. And there is a reason for every alignment. Yes. Be humble. God will lead you to the right path as prophets. Because the spirit of the Lord is humility, not pride. We cannot prostitute the gift of Yeshua that he has given us. We have to honor him in his presence. When he uh, allows the release of it, when he unctions the prophets, that's it. When he unctions the release of the prophecy, that's it. Don't be unctioned by the devil to release prophecies. That's a, that's a disalignment. Yes. Thank you, Yahweh, because he is able and might. Gabriel is assigned. God is saying that tonight. I am assigning you Ark. Wow. Ark. Angel. <laughs> wow, Gabriel. It's like a Spanish, Papa. <laughs> I believe that's the way I should call him. Archangel. <laughs> Archangel Gabriel. Wow, I just sensed it. It's like I'm calling him. <laughs> I do have tongues of angels, as the Bible said. God gives um, tongues of angels for those he wants to give in terms of the speaking of tongues. Um, yeah, I sense it in the spirit and he allows me to understand some of the tongues. Uh, it's actually, he has given me the spirit of understanding when it comes to the tongues and it's more than that. Yeah, there's something about the tongues of angels that are not the same as the others. They have accents like, like feistiness. Like an archangel, Gabriel. <laughs> wow, Gabriel. He's a warrior and he protects destinies. Wow, I'm so excited to know Gabriel, the archangel. <laughs> wow, this is my first time. <laughs> this is my first time <laughs> to have this revelation from Yahweh. I'm working with angels. For the end time, so be it. Let the will of the Lord be done in Jesus' name. It's exciting. <laughs> I'm excited. It's a new beginning for work, for working, laboring, for workers. No, for work. How do you call it, Papa? For working, laboring. <laughs> for working, labor. <laughs> it's in the spirit I understand it already so be it let that be a new beginning in my life in Jesus name Amen I just want to tell you this ministry is for the body of Christ it's not against the body of Christ no when I am strict it's Yahweh yeah because our God is disciplined righteousness holiness there is always a mandate for everything meaning when you say mandate alignment there's an alignment in every mandate and you cannot cross that mandate because that's Yahweh's alignment honor it and the dream is a mandate in my life there are limitations there are boundaries and that's what the Lord is saying. Understand my boundaries. That's my boundaries. Yeah. Can I please every people? 
here. So actually, the Lord is saying, I'm not going to please every, I'm not going to please people here. That's what the Lord is saying. Because pleasing people, for you to understand, is not the spirit of Yahweh. There's no favoritism, as the Lord said in the Bible. In the same way, and the dream, there is no favoritism here. We are children of the Lord. Let's all be Christ like in Jesus' name. So be yet, let my destiny be released. And all things that need to be re re um, redeemed, so be yet, Yahweh, all of it. All of it. Redeem it, Yahweh. It's my time. My turn, the Lord said. This is my turn. For my family as well. Everything that the devil tried to steal, that actually still stolen. Anything that has to do with stealing, killing, destroying. God is saying, I am calling it all back. And bringing it back even more is coming to my husband, to my son, and to me. And more. In Jesus' name. I'm calling their destinies already to come forth and serve Yahweh. They have a calling in this ministry to be pastors. They have a purpose. So be it. Let their destinies arise as pastors in the ministry of enriching the kingdom of Yahweh in Jesus name amen londre heva grai jindi zinda hala varau grai sindi leder yesinde lo kurumai ndau doze legion of all archangel gabriel bring forth their destinies in Jesus name and my destiny as well and and the dreams destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Amen. Powerful Papa God. You are might. So be it. Let the will of the Lord be done. No more delays. And that spirit is living. And that door is going to close now. Yes. Yeah. Ruach, tonight is a new beginning for my family, for me and my family. Grace in the body, let our destinies arise the way he wants it. Let end the dream arise the way he designed it to be. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. So be it. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Those who have actually joined me. God bless you. May your destinies be released to you according to the will of Yeshua. May you walk on it already in Jesus' name. Um, prayers, God heard your prayers. <laughs> yes, and he's saying, don't worry. All that you give here in the dream, he already got it. And he's like taking care of it the way he wants to take care of it. Trust him. Hallelujah. Amen. So be it. Let the will of the Lord be done. In Jesus' name. I'm going to release the blessing. May Adonai bless you. May Adonai keep you. May Adonai keep you. May Adonai turn his face and show you his favor. May Adonai turn his face toward you and give you shalom. In Jesus' name. I call for it. My destiny as a Jew. Hmm. Archangel Gabriel. Bring it. The way Yeshua wants it. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. Woo! Thank you, everyone. I believe your life will never going to be the same tonight. Have a good one. Good day. Good life. <laughs> Have a good one. God calls it 
have a good one. That means all good things. Hallelujah. I love you all. God bless you. See you again tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry. Today is Monday. Just, how's the prayer? Wednesday is going to be this school. So tomorrow, see you again on House of Prayer. Have a good one. Bye.